everybody, this is Thomas from Grown with LED. I want to welcome you to episode 4 of our light measurement series. Today we're going to measure the Hoa T1, which you can see two in front of me. This is a LED fixture, which I was thrilled to get contacted by the producer, by Hoa T1, to, that they want to provide us with two of the lamps to do a light measurement and a test with them. So here I present to you the unpacking of the Hoa T1 592 version 2. I'm going to open them up right now and see what's inside. Check. with an instruction manual and then up here you have but supply cords and two hooks to hang it up and when you open the part you have here the quantum board with the LEDs. The quantum board is made from aluminium and is also used as a reflector of such sorts all the LED chips are open, they have no coverage, they, uh, there is no lens or anything to there, so you have to be very careful while you use them. And I'm very curious how much light output two of them give in our ambient homebox tent, the ambient Q120 plus, plus, which we use for all our testing. We're gonna install them in here now and then we're gonna start testing them. inside our homebox tent. Again, the measuring grid is at water level. The distance we use here is the producer recommended distance of 40 centimeter from the lamp, from the LEDs downwards to the sensor of our light measuring tool to UPR Tech Part 200. And the lamps have an equal distance of 40 centimeter to each other and to the walls and are centered above the measuring grid. And for this, we're going to do the measurement right now. Here you can see the power unit of the Horty One lamp, and this is used to connect to the lamp. Very important, you have to first to connect the lamp, which is here to connect the plug to the power unit before you plug it into the uh, outlet. Otherwise, you're gonna destroy the lamp. So it has a special connector which only fits in into one position. You connect it, chuck, and then you screw it together so it doesn't come loose accidentally. And now we have a very good connection to the power unit. This second here uh, uh, cord would be for the dimmer that you can order also for the lamp. I don't have a dimmer, I will use them at full power. And then over here, you can see it goes now into the socket where we also measure the power with our Waldcraft Energy Logger. Chuck! And now we've put it in here. And now we're gonna wait for half an hour before we're gonna do the measurement readings. We have connected the power unit of the Horty One LED to the Energy Logger 4000. And we're gonna do Measure the power consumption right now after it has been run for half an hour stationary. We have here 232 volts it, and it's drawing a 0 0.82 amps, which comes out to 189 watts, 188.6 exactly, which is 192.6 volt amperes and a power factor of 0 0.98. This is the measured power consumption of our 41. I have finished measuring the 144 measuring points on our grid uh, with a part 200 from UPR Tech and we have filled this all into an Excel file and prepared for you the lighting plot which you can see here now. This is the plot of our measurement of two 41 592 version 2 LED fixtures measured at a distance to the sensor of 40 centimeters. The measured power consumption was 378 watts for both lamps together. The BPFD sum is 85,631 micromole per square meter per second. This is all measurement points added up. The BPFD average is 595, which means you take the sum and divide it by all the 144 measuring points, and you have the average value per square. 
The BPFD per watt is 1.57 micromole per tool. The BPFD minimum, the lowest value, is 244, which you can see in the upper left corner. And the BPFD maximum is 1012, which you can see right in the center. And it's a typical lighting grid where you can see in the center the biggest light intensity right under the lamps. That's the red squares in the upper graphic. And the more you get to the outside, the less light you have there with the green low values right on the edge of the tent. The homogeneity calculates to 0.41 and the inhomogeneity calculates to 0.24. These are the results of our measurement. You have seen the very interesting results of the lighting plot of the Horty One LED now. And those two, when they're running here, I love the concept because they're very, very light to hang up, they don't take a lot of place, are easy installable, and uh, the results speak for themselves. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and see you next time guys, aloha!